Hello everyone. Today we are going to conduct the Thevenin's theorem experiments. In the Thevenin's theorem experiments, the first step is to find the to find out the load current here. I L we have to find out. To find out I L, this is the circuit diagram. Okay, which is having the there are three resistors, 2.2, 2.2, 2.2 are three resistors, and it is a load resistance is a one kilo ohm resistor, and this ammeter is used to measure the current passing through this load resistance that is I L, and this is the R P S supply. Okay, now let's let's connect the circuit. First, I am connecting here 2.2 kilo ohm resistor here. I am connecting the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Okay, I am connecting 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Okay, so for this 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, R P S positive is connected. R P S positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. So this is called as R P S positive. This R P S positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay, next R P S negative. This is called as R P S negative. This R P S negative is connected to ground. So this is the R P S negative. This R P S negative I am connecting to the ground here. Okay, next year one more 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. First terminal is connected to this junction terminal. That is 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay, now I am taking one more 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. The 2.2 kilo ohm resistor here I am connecting here. It one 2.2 one more 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. And this 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal is connected to ground. So I am connecting to the ground here directly. Okay, now if you see the circuit again here, this one more two point two kilo ohm resistor first terminal is connected to this junction point, and this two point two kilo ohm second terminal is connected to ammeter positive. Okay, now I am connecting one more two point two kilo ohm resistor here. This two point two kilo ohm resistor first terminal is connected to junction point. In the junction point, there are three resistors: two two point two kilo ohm first terminal, and this two point two kilo ohm first terminal. And this 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. This 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal it is. And these two are the first terminals are connected to junction point. As all are connected to junction, we should connect vertically. Here. If you see the circuit here, 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal and this 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. Sorry, this 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal, 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal and this 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. All are connected to junction point. In the junction point, there are three terminals here. So that's why we have one, two, three terminals are connected to junction here. Okay. So now I am connecting 2.2 kilo ohm resistor here. Here, ammeter positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal here. Ammeter positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay. Next, ammeter negative. If you see the circuit diagram, ammeter negative is connected to 1 kilo ohm resistor first terminal. So here, this 1 kilo ohm resistor I am connecting randomly here. I am connecting randomly. Okay, so connect like this. Next is ammeter negative. This is called as ammeter negative. See here, in the circuit diagram, ammeter negative is connected to this one kilo ohm resistor first terminal. As the both are connected, we should connect vertically. These both are connected. That's why I am connecting vertically. And this load resistance second terminal, this load resistance second terminal is connected to ground. That's why I am connecting to the ground. Okay, this is a circuit diagram of the Thevenin's theorem to find out the load current I L. To find out I L, this is the circuit diagram on the breadboard. Okay, now apply the voltage slowly. Apply the voltage slowly to 15 volts. First, initially I am applying 15 volts here. <coughs> okay, apply 15 volts. Okay, at 15 volts we are getting 1.7 milliamps of the current we are getting. Now I am increasing the 15 volts to 20 volts supply. I am increasing the voltage from 15 to 20 volts. If I increase the voltage from 15 to 20 volts, okay, that load current we are getting 2.3 milliamps of the current we are getting. Okay, now if I increase the <coughs> supply voltage from 20 to 25 volts, <coughs> now if I increase the supply voltage from 20 to 25 volts, 
वी आर गेटिंग करंट इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट नाइन मिली एम्स ऑफ द करंट वी आर गेटिंग ओके दीज आर द वैल्यूज फॉर फिफ्टीन वोल्स ट्वेंटी वोल्स एंड द ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्स ओके दिस इज द प्रोसीजर टू फाइंड आउट द लोड करंट ओके वी हैव ऑब्जर्व द लोड करंट फॉर फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्स ओके नाउ वी विल कनेक्ट द वी टी एच कनेक्शन टू फाइंड आउट वी टी एच दिस इज अ सर्क्यूट कनेक्शन ओके फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर देर इज नो चेंज हियर जस्ट रिमूव द अमीटर एंड द लोड रेसिस्टेंस हियर रिमूव द अमीटर एंड द लोड रेसिस्टेंस कनेक्ट द ओल्ट मीटर ओके आई एम रिमूविंग द रिमूविंग द अमीटर आई एम रिमूविंग द अमीटर एंड आई एम रिमूविंग द लोड रेसिस्टेंस आई एम कनेक्टिंग द ओल्ट मीटर हियर ओके आई एम कनेक्टिंग द ओल्ट मीटर ओके सो इफ यू सी द सर्क्यूट हियर This voltmeter positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal, and the voltmeter negative is connected to ground. This voltmeter positive, I am connecting to 3.3 kilo ohm second terminal. Okay, and this ammeter negative is connected to ground. Sorry, voltmeter negative is connected to ground. We are finding Thevenin's voltage (VTH). ओके टू फाइंड द वीटी दिस इज द सर्क्यूट डायग्राम ओके फॉर दिस आई एम अप्लाइंग इनिशियली फिफ्टीन वोल्स हियर आल्सो आई एम अप्लाइंग फिफ्टीन वोल्स हियर ओके इफ यू अप्लाई फिफ्टीन वोल्स वी आर गेटिंग अराउंड सेवन पॉइंट वन वोल्स ओके वी टी एच वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग सेवन पॉइंट वन वोल्ट और सेवन पॉइंट टू वोल्ट फॉर द फिफ्टीन वोल्ट नाउ एम इंक्रीजिंग द सप्ले वोल्टेज फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट ओके इफ आई इंक्रीज द सप्ले वोल्टेज फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट वी आर गेटिंग द वोल्टेज इज नाइन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट वी टी एच इज इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट नाउ आई विल इंक्रीज द सप्ले वोल्टेज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्ट Okay, if I increase the supply voltage from 20 to 25 volts, we are getting around 11.9 volts of the VTH. We are getting around 11.9 to 12 volts. Okay, so the, uh, this is the procedure to find the VTH. VTH means the evidence voltage for the 15 volts, 20, uh, 15 volts, 20 volts, and 25 volts. So we are getting the VTH value is like this. Now we will find the RTH value. To find the RTH value, this is the circuit here. To find the RTH, we will remove the low uh, supply voltage. That is RPS. We will we have to remove and we have to remove the remaining load resistance also. Okay, we have to connect the circuit like this and we will measure the resistance across these two terminals by using the multimeter. Now, I am connecting the circuit here. Okay, this is the circuit. For this, the supply is not required. Okay, I am connecting this circuit here. Two point two kilo ohm and two point two kilo ohm and two point two kilo ohm are connected, and this is the junction point. This is the junction point here, and here two point two kilo ohm first terminal is connected to ground. I am taking one wire. Okay, I am taking one wire here. For this, this two point two kilo ohm first terminal. Okay, two point two kilo ohm first terminal is connected to ground here. Connected to ground. Okay, I connected this step. Left side of the terminal, sir. I connected you. Okay, <coughs> these three resistors connected in the T shape here. These three resistors are connected in T shape. And two point two kilo ohm first terminal is connected to ground. Two point two kilo ohm first terminal is connected to ground. So this two point two kilo ohm first terminal is connected to ground. Now we have to measure the total equivalent resistance across these two terminals. Okay, take the multimeter. Okay. So this is called as multimeter. Okay, this is called as multimeter. Okay, so this multimeter is used to measure the voltage, current, and the resistance. Okay, this knob is used to find the uh, AC voltage, and this is used to find the DC voltage, and it is used to find the DC current. Okay, I am keeping the this knob in the resistance position. I am taking the twenty kilo ohm position. Okay, so now we will see. Uh, we will get the uh, water resistance. We will get. We will see. Okay, take the multimeter two terminals and place across this open circuit terminal. Okay, 
ओके ये आर इफ यू प्लेस ही है वी आर गेटिंग अराउंड थ्री पॉइंट टू वन किलोम्स वी आर गेटिंग थ्री पॉइंट टू वन किलोम्स वी आर गेटिंग ओके दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलोम रजिस्टर ओके दिस इज अ प्रोसीजर टू फाइंड आउट द आर टी एच टू फाइंड आउट आर टी एच द सप्लाई इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड ओके सो दिस मल्टी मीटर वी हैव टू प्लेस अक्रॉस दिस ओपन सर्क्यूट टर्मिनल ओके दिस इज अ प्रोसीजर वी आर गेटिंग थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो ओम ओके अराउंड थ्री पॉइंट टू वन किलो ओम्स वी आर गेटिंग सो दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो ओम ओके दिस इज अ प्रोसीजर टू फाइंड आउट द आर टी एच ओके नाउ द फाइनल सर्क्यूट इज ओके दिस इज द दिस इज द फाइनल सर्क्यूट टू फाइंड आउट द आई एल डैश ओके द आर टी एच वैल्यू वट एवर द आर टी एच वैल्यू वी गॉट दट इज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो ओम रेसिस्टर एंड इट इज अ सप्लाई एंड इट इज अ मीटर इज यूज टू मेजर द करेंट पासिंग थ्रू दिस लोड रेसिस्टेंस ओके वट एवर द वी टी एच वी गॉट दट वी टी एच वैल्यू वी हेव टू अप्लाई हियर सप्लाई वोल्टेज ओके नाउ आई एम कनेक्टिंग दिस सर्क्यूट हियर टू कनेक्ट दिस सर्क्यूट वी रिक्वायर्ड थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो ओम रेसिस्टर सो दिस इज अ थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो ओम रेसिस्टर आई एम कनेक्टिंग द थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो ओम रेसिस्टर हियर ओके For this 3.3 kilo ohm resistor, that is called as a RTH value. RPS positive is connected to 3.3 kilo ohm first terminal. RPS positive is connected to 3.3 kilo ohm first terminal, and the RPS negative is connected to ground. I am connecting RPS negative to the ground. Okay. Next, if you see the circuit here, one kilo ohm resistor. I am connecting the one kilo ohm resistor randomly. Here, this one kilo ohm resistor connect randomly. Connect the one kilo ohm resistor randomly, and if you see the circuit here, ammeter positive is connected to RTH second terminal. That is 3.3 kilo ohm second terminal, and ammeter negative is connected to one kilo ohm first terminal. Okay, that's why if you see if we take the ammeter, this is called as ammeter. This ammeter positive is connected to this 3.3 kilo ohm second terminal. Okay, this ammeter negative. is connected to this 1 kilo ohm second terminal so this is a simple connection of the uh, uh, il dash to find out the il dash this is the circuit okay now let's see the what are the values we will get initially we have to apply 7.5 volts because for the 15 volts we got the vth value vth value we have to apply don't apply 10 15 25 we have to apply vth value first vth value we got is 7.5 volts So we have to apply the VTH value is equal to 7.5 volts. At 7.5 volts of the VTH value, okay, we are getting 1.7 milliamps of the current we are getting. Okay, now if we apply one more VTH value, one more VTH value we got is 10 milli, uh, 10 volts we got. Okay, at VTH is equal to 10 volts. Okay, at VTH is equal to 10 volts we got. IL dash is equal to 2.3 milliamps. We are getting now one more VTH value we got that is 12.5 volts. Okay, a 12.5 volts of the VTH value supply voltage VTH we are getting the IL dash is equal to 2.9 milliamps of the current we are getting. Okay, this is the procedure to find IL dash. Okay, to find out IL dash we have to apply the VTH value here. Don't apply 10, 15. Sorry, 15, 20, 25 volts. We don't apply. We have to apply the whatever the VTH value we got. That VTH value we have to apply. So here, whatever the VTH values we got here, we got 7.5, 10.1, 12.5. This voltage only we have to apply for this circuit. Okay. Now if we summarize the whatever the values we got up to now here, if we apply 15 volts supply, we got IL is equal to 1.78. And if we apply again 15, 20 volts, we got 2.32, and for 25 volts, 2.9 milliamps we got. And if we take the VTH value for the 15 volts, 7.5, for 20 volts, 10.1, for 25 volts, 12.5 volts we got. And if we calculate the IL dash value practically, okay, practically IL dash value 1.7 we got for the 7.5 volts. If we apply 10.1 uh, volt, we got 2.3 volts, 2.3 milliamps. And if we apply 12.5 volts, we got 2.9 milliamps. We got okay. From this table, we can say that here IL is equal to IL dash. Say 1.7 is equal to 1.7. 2.3 is equal to 
टू पॉइंट नाइन इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट नाइन सो आर टी एच वैल्यू वी गॉट बाई यूजिंग द मल्टीमीटर वी कैलकुलेटेड दट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलोम्स वी गॉट ओके फ्रॉम द वैल्यूज वी कैन से दैट इयर आई एल इज ईक्वल टू आई एल डैश द गिवेंट सर्क्यूट इज ईक्वल टू द करेंट पासिंग थ्रू द गिवेन करेंट पासिंग थ्रू द लोड रेजिस्टेंस इन द गिवेंट सर्क्यूट इज ईक्वल टू द करेंट पासिंग थ्रू द लोड रेजिस्टेंस इन द इक्वल इन सर्क्यूट सो वी गॉट आई एल इज ईक्वल टू आई एल डैश आई एल इज ईक्वल टू आई एल डैश सो फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन से दट दस थीरम इज वेरीफाइड एट फिफ्टीन वोल्स ट्वेंटी वोल्स एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्स ओके दिस इज द टोटल प्रोसीजर टू फाइंड आउट दस इक्वल एंड वोल्टेज एंड द लोड करेंट एंड द आई एल डैश ओके फाइनली वी हैव अब्जर्व आई एल इज इक्वल टू आई एल डैश